Okay, for 10b, another one we're using law of signs. So if uh, the, the picture will be given, we, if we fill in the information, you're going to get this here. Uh, so first thing you want to do on these is figure out how many solutions there are. So we have to set up a, a known ratio. So we're going to do sine of 43 degrees over 81. You always want to have the side opposite the given angle. So sine of 43 over 81. We have enough information to solve for B, since we have a side opposite of that one that's provided. So we'll do that. Uh, we're going to cross multiply this. So we're going to do 81 sine B equals 62 sine 43 degrees. So we cross multiply that. And then we're going to divide both sides by 81 to get sine B. So sine B is equal to 62 sine 43 degrees over 81 and we're going to put that into uh, the calculator and when you do you get 0.52202 and some more decimals but remember uh, in order to get B you have to take the inverse of that so B is equal to the inverse sine of 0.52202 with some more decimals and then that's going to give you approximately uh, 31.47. Now again, remember that's your B1 that we have. And your B2 is always going to be 180 minus this angle. So if I want to do B2, that's equal to 180 minus 31.47. And so the other answer will be 148.53. Okay, so... B1 is 31.47, we'll put that up here. We know we have at least one solution since we were able to actually get a number, we didn't get an error on our calculator, so we have 31.47. Now, here's where you, you wanna see whether it has one or two solutions. You're gonna take 148.53, you're gonna add it to the angle that's already inside the triangle. If we add those together, we get a result that is more than 180. So if this angle, if, this, if the B2, the second angle, plus the angle inside the triangle is more than 180, that means we only have one solution. If it's less than 180, two solutions. Greater than 180, one solution. So this only has one solution, which means that these down here, I don't need to worry about. I'm not gonna have secondary solutions. So on the test, all the blanks are gonna appear uh, and you may or may not use all of them. In this case, we're not going to use all the ones down below because we only have one solution. So therefore, we're going to now set up the first triangle. So triangle one only is going to be what we have for this one because we only have one solution. So we're going to do triangle one. All right, we want to first find out what the missing the C value, the, the missing angle is, the measurement of angle C1. We're going to take 180 degrees as the sum of all the angles inside the triangle. If we subtract the 43 degrees and the 31.47 degrees, then we're going to be left with the measurement for angle C1, uh, which is going to be 105.53, and that's our angle for C1. So we put that right here, 105.53 degrees. The last thing we want to find is the uh, this actually should be uh, side C1 here. Sorry about that. These are both C's. Okay, so C1 and, and C2. Okay, so the missing one is C. So we're going to now, um, we can label the triangle as 105.53. Uh, angle B was 31.47. So now we're just finding out this last side here, C1, we're finding on that one. Uh, so, we're going to do the known ratio, we'll start with that, so sine of 43 degrees over 81 is going to equal sine 105.53 over side C1. Now technically you could actually use 31.47 over 62 as well, since that should be the same ratio, um, but you kind of have some rounding issues there, so it's better just to use the original one, because then you can get a, a more accurate uh, answer in that case, so we just use the original ratio again, sine 43 over 81. We're going to solve for C1, and if you cross multiply and solve that, you're going to get 81 sine 105.53 
all over sine 43. So you're going to put that into your calculator, so cross multiply to solve for C1. Put that in the calculator, you're going to get 114.43. And that's going to make sense that we'll have an answer larger than the other two because the side opposite has the largest angle, so it makes sense that your answer here should be bigger than 62 and bigger than 81. So that will be 114.43. Uh, we're not putting any degrees on that because that would just be the, the angle or how, how far it is. And there's no units on this one. I don't have any meters or inches or anything on these numbers. So you don't need anything on here when you write your answer for C1.